Hello boys and girls and welcome to another episode of Green Pastures Farms. Today we are going to first shut sweet auger off on this thing because I still have it engaged and we're going to go clean. So follow me on to our newest adventure. Okay, so this is the unload auger that it's been and it is at this point in my life where I really wish we had a vertical unload. But, you know, it's what you get for inheritance, I guess. You gotta live with what you got. Anyway, I had replaced this plug uh, over the summer, over last summer. And I figured out what these two controls do. This is the door, and this is the auger. At least we're gonna pray it's the auger. Oh, anyway. All right, never mind. My idea did not work. This is not the second best thing to a hammer. Maybe on some things, but not all things. Anyway, so the skinny rod is for the sweep auger at the bottom of the bin. That's for when you get the bin down to, I think, the last ring or two. And it just brings whatever's left to the door. We had a break. We had a robbery not too long ago. Or, not a robbery. Somebody stole a trailer out of my front yard. So that's why the key is not in my tractor. Because now we're just paranoid. It's all, it's all hell right now. Pardon my French. Yeah, uh, if y'all are in the uh, any surrounding areas to Yakinville, uh, help me find my uncle's trailer. Uh, somebody just came up in the yard and took it. Don't know why it had. Uh, it's a small little lawnmower trailer. Darn thing, they didn't even break off. I guess they didn't even break off the lock on it, which is the weird part. But anyway, uh, if y'all see a little, uh, I think it was a four by six trailer, uh, five by six or something. It's a small little lawnmower trailer. It had a weird looking bed job on it. Uh, don't really know why. And he had a, uh, and there was a lock and uh, some green pool noodles on the side. On the uh, railing. So if y'all uh, see one in the uh, surrounding area to Yakin County by now, uh, probably for sale, look on Craigslist for me. Uh, look, in the, look in the auction blocks, you know, find me some. Find me some place. If you know anywhere where, they, where people go sell their sell junk, hit me up on Instagram. Help me find my uncle's tra trailer. This is the most annoying placement of anything I have ever seen in my life. As long as this thing goes all the way in. I will be happy. I need a bigger hammer. I'm retarded. Okay. This was in. So that means the auger was on. I hope. We can only pray. As long as the bin doesn't explode, I'll be fine. That's one thing I don't want out to fire. I've only sold 63 bushels and there's another thousand in there. For the John Deere engineer that decided, yeah, let's make these do this, go flaccid, I hope you got fired. That is my two cents on that engineering flaw. There's no blocks down here. Where did my blocks go? I wish that John Deere had just said, hmm, you know what, let's give them a, let's give them a hole for them to put their pin in, that way it keeps, it keeps it nice and level, that way they can back the tractor in there. Then when they take the pin out and put it in the hole, they don't have to worry about it being stiff so, it break, so if it breaks, 
And so you don't have to replace the whole assembly or anything like that. No, no, no. They were like, ah, screw them. Let's make it go flaccid. This is the most annoying design choice I've ever seen in any kind of equipment. And I hope the man that did this is very much fired. All right, so plan is to knock down broom straw. Broom straw is that gray, well, not gray, it's what brown mesh you see in hay fields about this time of year. I've got two fields that I did not mow down for uh, or kill the Doriso. So I'm going to go mow them down, get them cleared off of the broom straw, and have them clean for when the hay crop comes in. All right, so the gray stuff you see out here, the brown stuff, dead stuff, whatever the hell you want to call it is the broom straw. Uh, we're knocking that down with the MX-10. I'm not trying to go too low with it. Just getting the tops off it. It's already dead, so it ain't gonna grow very much. Anyway, this is the last hay field I did last year. And I looked at the barley. I just drove by the barley I planted for hay, and it's a, I think it's looking like it's about to come to a seed head. So that may get cut here in a little bit uh, for hay. Uh, maybe next week, actually. Yeah, that stuff shot up real nice with this warm weather. That's about the same way with the barley I planted for seed or wanted to plant for seed. Now it's uh, now it's turning into a hay crop. So. That stuff came up real good too. This is coming up real nice too. It's about maybe six inches, just about. All the green under there. So, just gonna get all this cleaned off. I'll move across the road. There's one hay field I left in the corner. Now the bean fields. It's mostly a drainage ditch, so I get I get hay off it, clear it off. Anyway, hay is coming up real good. That'll be, I'll probably be cutting that next week. Now that I think about it, I might be able to hit it. But here's tuned to that. All right, so here is my broom straw. I'm over here across the road. Barley fields right over there and all that. And there's a commune. There's a whole community living in there. It used to be a trailer park or something. They've uh, cleared it all out. They've stuck a bunch of uh, trailers and storage buildings and RVs. They're living down there. I don't know about you, but it's a little sketchy. At first we thought it was a pot farm. It probably still is a pot farm. But by God, it's a it's an interesting looking place down there. I, I, I till garden for them. It's a that's a weird. It's an interesting operation. Scary people around here. Scary people. All right, so I may have forgot to make another outro. So I uh, just got done with getting the uh, broom straw off that off the hay fields and also some dead Johnson grass that was still standing out there. So that stuff's good. Those are the two hay fields I did were the two hay fields that, um, uh, th those are the ones I did not re-sow or anything. So they are stand, so that is still the natural growing grass. So that'll be into the day. That'll be the end of today's video. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below for me, and go follow me on Instagram if you don't mind. All of that stuff's down there in the description. Uh, and may or may not have some hats available at some point. There won't be wide release, and they'll probably be only um, close friends at the moment. But uh, depending on how well they sell, I may buy. I may start a Teespring get some merch store going you know anyway keep your eyes out for that anyway and um i will see y'all next time